Guess what came in? I ordered. You guys know, you guys and gals, know that I do have a fetish for the Zildjian S series. B12 alloy, like this one. So, I have the 18 inch thin crash and the 18 inch medium thin crash and the 20 inch thin crash. It's the 20 inch thin crash that turned me on to him. I was at Sam Ash one day and I walked by and I sort of tapped it, walked by, I was like, and I bought it and walked off the store with it. So what I have today is what I just ordered online. This is, let's see. Ouch, sorry. Come to Papa in this box, ladies and gentlemen, is, take out my keys, these come in handy. We're going to open up this box, whoops, open up this, whoops-a-daisy, open up this box, we're gonna open this box. Okay, now this is, I gotta tell you, I'm gonna show it to you first. It's another Zildjian S series. Remember, I've been, I did bug a couple Zildjian people when I call them. Remember, I'm, I call everybody, not just Peisty. Uh, um, if they made a lighter version, weight-wise, of a, of a 22 and a 24, they do offer a 22 and a 24. They're great, but to me, they're a little too pingy. And if they did offer 15-inch hi hats, master some too. Check this out. I got a golden ticket. I got a golden ticket. And now check this out. I'm gonna hit the microphones. I gotta be careful. I don't wanna hit the microphone. Hang on. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Came with a nice little symbol bag. Oh. Perfect. Okay. So check it out. Oh, here it is. Oh, check it out. Okay, I, I'm going to weigh this, too, in real time. I will go over to my scale. I recommend everybody get an inexpensive digital scale because they're terrific, so you know the weight of your symbol. This hits the floor. I'll have 19 conniption. Okay, hang on. All right. Here it is. Oh, if you've never bought a new symbol before... Oh, if you've never bought a new symbol before, there's just that feeling you get. You get the plastic... And you take it out of the bag. Really, I've literally not seen this yet. Hopefully there's no damage to it. Okay, now it feels, yes, this is definitely, okay, medium thin crash. So what I'm going to do, let me put it my thin crash. Here in Bonzel Eden Studios, Ventura, Burbank, California. Okay, so let me do this. Let me put um, my... Eh, Gosh darn it. Oh, I know where it is. It's in my cymbal bag because I took it to the gig. Well, first things first, this is what we'll do. I'm getting off my trusted 18 inch thin crash S series. I'm putting up this medium thin. Remember, I have the thin crash, just the medium thin crash. This feels, I want to say that the thin crash I bought, the Zildjian S series thin crash weight, it's in the upper 1700s. This thing feels like. Kind of feels like it could be almost 19. All right, so let's hear it, right? Okay, so what I have here is my, one of my two trusted 20-inch Peisty multi-giant beats. Again, I had been recommending that there be a weight just a little bit heavier in the giant beats, reissued giant beats, maybe call it a medium. But anyway, this 20-inch um, giant beat multi, which is just a few years old, I think is 1,830 grams. So hang on, let's see here. Real quick weight check, hang on. Okay, it's definitely heavier than the giant beat, but not by much. Okay, so I'll do the giant beat first. I know you're dying to hear this, but hang on. And here's the medium thin S series 20 inch crash. I literally just unboxed. First time ever being hit by a consumer. It's nice. You know 
what? To be totally honest, it might. I think for me, possibly the twenty-inch thin crash might be the only twenty I like. Not that I don't like this, but it's not as magical as the thin, thin crash was. Let me weigh this, okay? So enjoy the view of Bonzolium Studios. Right. What do you mean? Get a weight on this guy. Da -da. Nineteen fifty nine. Hmm. For some reason, I would have thought it might have been about eighteen fifty nine or eighteen seventy ish, because the relationship between the eight, uh, the eighteen inch thin, and medium thin, I think, is like about a hundred grams. So you could percentage that out. So let me do this. I'm gonna get that medium thin crash I just unboxed, and then get my thin crash out of the bag. Both the S series. I just played these. Uh, the eighteen. In the 20s series at the cashmere gig I did. Stand by. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. My hand. Ow. Ouch. Here it is. So here it is. Yes. So this one is significantly lighter. I mean, listen to this guy. Now again, I'm going to compare this. This is the S-series Thin Crash I've had for a while. We'll compare this straight up with the Giant Beat Multi 20. So the this one is 1818 grams, 1818, which is relatively thin for a 20 inch crash. Well, relatively. And then this guy, I, again, I think is, uh, yeah, like 1750. Okay, so this one's about 75 grams thinner than that one, but it carries almost louder. Again, so here we go. This is the 20 inch S series thin crash 20. And then the Giant Beat Multi at 1818 grams. So now I'm going to put on the 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 symbol I just carried over there to the scale. Hang on. Ouch. So. Ouch. Man. Yeah, it's almost, I'm telling you, I, off, I wonder if this is almost like a mislabeled rock crash. Seriously. Because this one is... What did I say, 1950? This one's almost 200 grams heavier. So the medium thin is almost 200 grams heavier, at least these models here, than the thin crash. So here we go, I'll give them a tap. The thin, the medium thin. practice that at some point but this reminds me of the time I went to Biasco music back in 1993 what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put up the 1800 1818 gram giant beat multi to compare with the me and Thin S series I just got in. I went to Biasco and I just bought, I told this before, I believe I told you this before, but I just bought at that time a 20 inch 2002 crash. This was, now this was probably, what I say, 1992, so I might have had that crash for a year. It was really the f second or third new symbol I'd ever bought at that time, or fourth maybe. All right, let me put this up while I say. 
So a buddy of mine had a, his dad had a set of Tom, Tom and Rockstars in the basement. We played in a band I was with, and he had a full set of 404s that he'd gotten, whatever it would have been, probably six or seven years before. 14-inch hats, 16-inch crash, and 20-inch 404 ride. As I and numerous other Peisty geeks have been saying for about the past, well, since this happened for me personally back in 1993, that the 20-inch 404 ride models are great crashes. I was shocked at how great it sounded. But anyway, it reminds me of this. Oh, yeah, because when I bought the symbol, I went into Biasco Music because I asked his dad, or I asked this kid, I'm like, God, when did your dad buy this kid? I'm like, I knew the 404s had been discontinued a, a number of years because I remember the whole 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 sort of replacing them a few years before. It's like, Biasco, my dad just got the kit last year or something. I was like, huh. So I went to Biasco, and they had, I'm not kidding, mm, between like 14 and 17 or 18, 20-inch 404 rides on the rack, brand new. So I went through all of them, and I got down to like three, and then I went and I finally compared it to one, and I bought it. And it was the, the guy in there, the owner, was so mad because I took it out, and I was in the guitar room playing it while someone was playing the guitar because I wanted to hear it in the context of the frequencies. But if I didn't want the cymbal so bad, <laughs> I'd have been like, kiss my... But I bought it anyway. So this reminds me of that for some reason, the comparison. So here we go. The Giant Beat reissue, the, well, you know, the multi-20-inch at 1818 grams. And the Zildjian S series, I just got in the medium thin crash 20 at 1950, I think it was 1959 grams. Holy giant beat sustain. Bad thing. Here we go, watch. Now, that medium thin S series crash 20 is thinner than the 505 mediums, which are my favorite 505 twin. Well, you know, I was sometimes up in the air between a 505 crash model and a medium model when it came in the 20 inch size. But this is definitely lighter by at least maybe 50 grams than a 505 medium. If I remember, 505 20 inch crashes were in the maybe 1920 gram range. I forgot. So, the giant beat that does sound beautiful okay let me just rotate again so why don't you if you can if anybody indeed watches this okay so here we go i think this is 17 what is this seven it's again it's almost it's it's almost 200 grams i want to double check this though there's a i bought this online and I have to wonder, you know, I just want to make sure, you know, I know it sounds terrible. Nothing against the Zildjian quality control people. But I'd be curious to see how heavy their 20-inch rock crash would be. I just want to make sure this is not a dud, but make sure. It just seems that I don't know if a medium-thin crash should be 1,959 grams. For some reason, I thought it might have still been in the 1,800s, considering this guy's like 1,760 maybe. So two, anyway, so 200 grams of B12 difference in Zildjian S Seriesville. <laughs> This one over at 1959 grams. It's a little heavier than I thought it would be. I got to see what the return policy is. No, you know, I just thought it would be at most maybe 150 grams heavier than the thin crash I had here. So.
bugs me about it a little, I'll tell you honestly. Because that's what it's all about, huh? It, what bugs me about it is there's a little bit of that Avitas Zildjian. It sounds terrible. But on the front end, the crash part, like a harder, ah, uh, instead of the softer psh that you hear with the giant beat that I put up here, the multi, and then that thin crash. So I'm going to double check. I'm going to ask maybe the store if they could maybe, I know it's, it'll be high maintenance. Uh, could you weigh any other medium thin 20 inch S series crashes and tell me if you have any in like the 1860 gram range? So I'll let you know how that goes. They're probably going to be like, blow it out your ass, buddy. So, all right. Anyway, so that's what happened here. More videos on the way. Don't forget about the May 31st, which is coming right up a week from today. Um, John Bonham birthday bash at Metro in Chicago, 3730 North Clark Street, 8 p.m. You got to be there or be square. Thank you. Hopefully I don't drop this.